What's up, everybody? This is Chris. I'm here in California with Getting Shredded, chilling in my room. Just got my workout in. Yeah. I got a question. Question from Nick. Nick asked, My girlfriend just got herself a gym pass and is beginning the long journey to weight training and fitness. Unfortunately, she has tendonitis in her knees and was told by her doctor to avoid squats. So I was wondering which exercises you would recommend as a viable alternative to squats that will help her to get some benefits, that squ the same benefits that squats offer. I've been doing a lot of leg presses, leg extensions, and curls, but I still feel like her leg routine can't really be complete unless we find something to fill in the void left by not doing squats. Thanks in advance for any advice you might offer, and have a good day. Well, thank you, Nick. Thank you for the question. Um, it's actually a very interesting question. Um, you, you know, there's a lot of really great channels here on YouTube, um, and one of the one of the the ones that I really like is uh, Elliot Hulse's channel, Strength Camp. And um, uh, I'm mentioning that because he did a video on this subject, and and I'm in full agreement with him. Um, there are no real alternatives to squats. Yes, you can get under a leg press and you can push a lot of weight on a leg press. <coughs> yes, you can get on leg extension and stimulate a lot of muscle fiber on leg extension, but there's no exercises that really have the total body benefits that squats do. Squats help strengthen your core. Squats um, help you to achieve thoracic extension in a lot of cases when you are doing front squats. Um, squats can actually help to improve your mobility um, if you're using them as a stretch, like as in goblet squats and holding them at the bottom. Um, so there's really no actual exercise that has all the benefits uh, that squats do unless you're doing some form of a squat. Um, now, Here's the other part of your question. So if she can't do squats, what can she do? Well, in my opinion, yes, her doctor said to avoid squats, but doctor's jobs are to offer comfort um, as an immediate solution. And in my opinion, um, there's a deeper problem here. So she has tendonitis in her knees um, that signifies some sort of muscular imbalance going on. Uh, in addition to that, you know, tendonitis in the knees can become tightness in the hips because you're not going through your full range of motion with the hip. Um, it could lead to lack of core strength, which will eventually lead to back problems uh, because you're not putting the load on your core that you should be. Um, you sound like you're both young. So what I would say is this, um, unless you have a spinal injury or a, a you know, some sort of L5 or L4 or disc bulging disc or something like that. In which case, yes, you have to avoid squats and find something else. Um, muscular imbalances can be solved by developing some sort of movement practice, right? By increasing your mobility, by figuring out what the imbalance is that is causing the tendonitis in the knees. Um, maybe she's got a tight AT band um, and that is causing her to put undue pressure uh, on her tendons and ligaments in her knee. Maybe she's got uh, tight hips. Maybe she's got underactive glutes. Um, maybe she's got tight calves. There might be a whole host of reasons uh, why she has tendonitis in her knees, and each one of those reasons are fixable. So what my advice would be, rather than finding an alternative to squats, I would fix the immobility problem that she's experiencing that is causing her to have this tendonitis. Now, there's a lot of great videos out there. There's a lot of great websites out there. Uh, uh, one of my favorites, which one of my friends had pointed to me earlier in this week, and, and I've actually been a fan of his for a while, is Kelly Starrett's mobilitywad.com. Uh, and I'll put that in the comments uh, section. But if you follow this guy, um, he's got a video on everything. If you've got pain in your shoulder while trying to achieve the rack position for your front squat, he's got ways of helping you to become more mobile um, 
to, to achieve that flexibility so you can do the movement. Um, the, the issue is here that squats and squatting is actually part of being human. Um, it's actually part of human movement. It's a basic movement. It's one that we do when we're children. When we get up to walk, we first have to go into a squat. So while I sympathize with the pain, I think that the pain is a fixable problem in that when we try to ban ourselves from certain exercises, when we say, okay, we're not going to do this exercise anymore, that leads to other immobility problems uh, that will only get worse as she gets older. Um, so if you have any questions for me, hit me up at gettingshredded at gmail.com. Definitely check out those resources and I um, hope you guys have a really happy new year. Take care.